All right, what's up guys? So I'm in the garage today. Uh, I got a few maintenance items to kind of get done this weekend before um, the North Park autocross will start up again next week. And especially with North Park and then the Steel Cities region up in up at Pit Race, uh, it's gonna be autocross pretty much like every weekend, every Sunday, uh, from like mid-September through late October. So I really needed to get the car kind of like ready to go because during the week I work, so I don't have a lot of time to be goofing around with it. A lot of times, for me at least, I literally just take the car as it is, as I'm driving it, you know, obviously take out the spare tire and things like that, but I just literally take it out there and just go do my thing. So uh, a lot of the maintenance needs to be done now, so that I'm ready for the next month and a half. Um, so basically what I'll be doing is rotating the tires. I'm just going to be, uh, I have the RE11As, which you can actually see another video on. I'll put a link down maybe in the description or something like that. But so far they've been great tires and they're actually asymmetrical. So that's really good for autocross because um, especially if you go to the same place every time you autocross, like I feel especially at North Park, all the courses are set up that you kind of wear this tire out just a little bit more than the other ones. Like they all kind of seem to have a general loop that you're going to be turning to the um, to your passenger side a lot more. So um, that one's definitely going to have to go on the back on the other side and the one in the front over here is going to go to that side. So basically like a big X and um, obviously your front tires are going to get a lot more wear in the front when you're autocrossing than in your rear. So the big thing is to get the ones that are in the front to the rear at this point because you can even tell I have a little gauge but um, they're getting pretty worn out in the front so time to swap them around. It's almost been uh, probably like five or six months since I've had them on. I don't know. But anyhow, um, I got to do that and then I also have to change the oil. going to be using uh, Rotella T6 and a Wix filter, uh, which I got online. So buy in bulk, you always save money when you're doing this stuff. So buy your crush washers, buy your, um, buy your oil filters and all that stuff, buy them all online, buy them in bulk. Get a pack of six of them, you're going to use them. So um, yeah, should be a fun day, but nothing too crazy. Uh, it's a little bit hot out right now, it's about 85. so. I'm not going to be watching the car outside, but next weekend is the first autocross, and that's going to be going from uh, mid-September to October, and then I'm also going to have um, the uh, Pittsburgh All-Wheel Drive meet, which is next weekend, which I'll probably make a little separate video, kind of like uh, you giving details on that and the times and what everything's going down, because it's kind of a big weekend of doing things, so should be good, but uh, let's get to the video. So it's really nice whenever you take your tire off and you find a little wood nail in your tire right in that little divot, but it's not holding, I mean it's holding air and it's not losing air, so I'm just going to leave it and put it on. Alright guys, so just want to show you one little thing real quick, but I pulled out the drain plug here and I put a new crush washer on it, but this is the, you can see on here, blocks racing drain plug. Um, it's magnetic, so any shards in your engine of um, any ferrous metals are going to connect to this thing. However, one thing I did uh, see here, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'll try to put the light on it, but if you can see right there, this side's perfectly fine. This side has a nice big chunk taken out of it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's like a chunk of metal, but it's a chunk of this material, I guess you could say. Um, it's on the magnet, so that's not exactly a good thing, but it's not terrible. But somewhere a part of this is floating around in the oil, so that's why we change our oil every 3,000 miles, because <laughs> shit happens. Um, I am, I'm going to file this down a little bit and just kind of rub it off and make sure it's all good, but after that I'm going to put it back in and it should be good. It doesn't feel like any more of this is going to come off, but I definitely think the next time that I change oil, going to get another one of these different brands, something like that. Um, I don't know if it's any of the blocks when I've had this one since I've gotten the car for like three years, so I don't know why it would wear like that, but it is what it is, so yeah. Make sure you check these whenever you pull them out. Yeah. <laughs> 